Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's it's unboxing season. In today's video, we're unboxing what I think will be a really cool kit from uh, I think Bad Cat Guitars. It's a guitar kit. It should be a Strat kit, um, I think. So let's check it out. But uh, these guys do a lot of zebra wood stuff and it always looks really cool. And I've been waiting to get my hands on one. So uh, yeah, let's see what we're dealing with here. All right, let's get into this. I know you guys can see the address there. That's, that's not my home. Um, that's the address of the shop. So if you're ever looking to send me something, that's where it goes. All right, let's see. This box looks like it's, uh, or feels like it's been through a bit of a rough journey. I know it made its way over here from overseas. So hopefully it's in decent condition. But uh, yeah, there we go. Bad Cat Instruments. This thing looks like it's been crushed. Hopefully it's okay. That's not taped down at all, so that's that's easy. Okay. Ooh. You can see the wood grain right through the bags here. Wow. All right. So that is what we're dealing with. Look at the grain on this thing. I don't, uh, I've never worked with this type of wood before. So it's going to be very interesting to play around with this. I might do a little, a little shaping work on it. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty smooth. Doesn't seem like it has sealer on it, but it might. So I will find out when I start sanding it. But the carves on it are pretty good. You could probably just oil this thing and, uh, and go to town. Oil it and, and assemble it and start playing. Let's see what the neck looks like. Doesn't look like anything's sustained any damage. But I guess we're about to find out. So far, so good. All right, so this is a, okay, a separate piece of wood making the, f uh, the fretboard. There's no skunk stripe access in the back, so we can kind of tell based on that, but it looks the same. It's very uniform. Again, beautiful, really cool wood, really cool. <laughs> you know, these green patterns are super. Fret ends feel good. Everything looks good. Well, I think the neck looks okay. It might be a touch twisted, so we might... I might have to play with that a little bit. Hopefully that's going to be okay. And then uh, I'm going to replace the, the nut probably because these are just kit, kit nuts. You know how it is. Let's see how it fits. Not bad. A little loose. There's room to wiggle for sure, but that's fine. It's a bolt-on neck. So there's a lot of people who seem to think that your bolt-on neck has to be ridiculously snug uh, in order for the guitar to sound good in order for sound to transfer properly in order for resonance and sustain to be at their best sorry guys just it's not true it isn't you just got to do a good job of attaching it so the the neck does mesh well with the pocket here shouldn't be much cleanup required so i'm not at all worried this guy is going to play just fine when i'm ready when i'm done with it let's take a look at what else comes with the kit we've got the classic uh, instrument cable that nobody uses Tremolo arm, Allen key, presumably for the truss rod. That's nice. That's a nifty little thing to include in there. Our plating for the back, and then all our electronics, and of course our other hardware. We got these nice little double plates with the, uh, the plastic and the metal, so you can decide which one you want to do. That all looks good. If this guitar comes out the way I want it to, I'll probably be replacing a few of these items, including the tuners. Now we did have, okay, let's see. Packaging's not bad here. Um, yeah, not bad. Pick guard looks like it's already pre-wired. The only damage that this appears to have sustained, again, because the box looked like it was pretty much crushed, is to the switch. So the switch got bent over a little bit that is okay. I will use some pliers and fix that. Not, not a big deal. Um, I'm probably going to make my own pick guard for this. I may even replace all of the pickups. We'll see. Let's have a quick look at some details here. So by the look of this, it's all one piece. I'm not seeing any lamination joints. Uh, so that's really cool. Not quite what I expected. 
Usually these kits are made out of a couple different pieces. So that's good. Machining all looks nice. Curves are smooth. I might play around with those a little bit. I don't necessarily want to build just a standard Stratocaster, but yeah, it's really cool. This is, uh, this is definitely an interesting kit, an interesting aesthetic, something that you won't see all that often on other models. I think they did a really good job. I'm excited to get this thing put together, start playing it. And then if we look at the neck here, they're not blind fret tangs, but that's fine. Most guitars aren't. The joint between the fretboard and the neck, actually pretty tough to see. So that's good. They've done a good job here. In terms of the front, well, the uh, the frets all appear to be pressed down properly, so that's nice. It's good that it made it over here that way. I'll probably repress them a little bit just in case. Good machining on the headstock as well. This thing all looks good. I don't know, does that look twisted to you guys? Should be okay. All right, guys, so that's it. That's the Stratocaster guitar kit from Bad Cat Instruments. We're excited to give this thing a build. These guys make a lot of guitars out of this type of wood. So they've got Telecasters. I think Dan from Guns and Guitars just worked on one or will be working on one. He, he's definitely started. Um, he does really cool work. If you haven't checked him out, do that. Because he's done a Telecaster that he's modified, of course. And uh, I think they've also got an LP style one, which I might do at some point as well. So really neat. Don't forget to check them out. I'll put a link in the description. As a, Oh, that's not good. My garage light is strobing. Oy. All right, well, there's something wrong with the light in here. But anyway, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Remember to subscribe so you can see the build on this thing. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.